I love when they lay like a donut like this. Donut snake! Good morning, my friends. I hope that your day is starting off fantastic. I'm gonna start my day with this girl right here. She's the culprit. She's the one who did it. She's a good girl. It was my fault. And you get her cleaned up. I'm gonna pray that Betsy Ross uses that perch. Don't just look at it. Climb on it. Climb on it. When I build my next enclosures, I think I might put a platform instead of just the little bars for a perch. I think the more adult retics might be a little bit big for a perch like that or something. I think they might do better with a platform. So I'm gonna give that a try in the next cage and we'll see how that goes. I'm gonna get this girl cleaned. I'm gonna get all the other snakes cleaned. And then I'm gonna show you how to cut that pineapple. So a couple of exciting things I'd like to share with you here in the snake room today. This girl, who has been fooling me for the longest time about being grabbed or not, but now she is exhibiting some very strong body language that would suggest she's well on her way. So that's exciting. That's exciting. This is a Cinnamon Head Sunset Girl. And oh, doggy, it's been a long awaited thing. And then right below her, we've got the bamboo female, Dot, and she looks like she's having a little bit of an ovulation right now. What you got, you smuggling a football in there or what's going on? Looks like she swallowed a baby pineapple or something. Yeah, looks like she looks like she just about swallowed a football there. I'd say that's an ovulation. And she was bred to Ricky, the pastel Enchi clown, so. Out of this clutch, definitely hoping for some pastel enchi bamboos. And they will of course be het for clown. And finally the last exciting thing I like to share is this shed. Scrub Python had a full, complete shed. I just love that. I love, I love opening up a tub and seeing this nice perfect shed. It's a great thing. And when I get a shed, I always like to take a look and make sure that there's eye caps. Make sure the eye caps have come off with the shed. Easier to catch it early if it happens to not happen. In a nice full complete shed like this, you do tend to see the eye caps usually. But I always like to check just in case, because like I said, it's much easier to catch that early than late. How to cut a pineapple. You guys might be thinking, Brian, this is ridiculous. But you know what? I thought it was ridiculous how much response I got for how to cut a pineapple. So <laughs> we're gonna do it. You can of course cut a pineapple without any special techniques and you'll get the pineapple cut and you'll get to eat it. But it's not gonna be the best experience possible that you could possibly have. You might be asking me, what's this bowl of water for? I will tell you, I learned my technique from an auntie on the North Shore of Oahu who was a professional pineapple cutter. So this is good stuff right here. You wanna have a little bit of green still on the pineapple. Not a whole bunch of green, but you, you definitely wanna have some green. You don't want it to be completely yellow, and you don't want it to be too green either. Just a little bit of green kind of around all the little eyes here, and maybe a little yellow on the bottom. Next thing you want to check for is that it, you got a nice fresh cut on the bottom. This was the freshest cut I could find. It's not too bad. It's not the best in the world, but like I said, this is the best one that was there. And then you want to smell that core, and you want to be able to smell the sweetness of the fruit in there, okay? If you can't smell it, Either something's wrong with your nose, or it's not a good pineapple. Break off your stem is how I like to do it. And you can take this stem, you can put it in water, and you can grow another pineapple plant. Now of course, if you don't live in a tropical area, where you don't have a nice indoor greenhouse, that's not gonna work for you, because these are tropical plants. This particular pineapple is from Costa Rica. And did you know that it takes two years for a pineapple to go from plant to fruit? Think about it next time you eat one. Two years it takes for this fruit to form. Okay, next obvious thing is cut off the ends. And when you do a good cut, you're always gonna lose some meat, especially on the sides to get rid of the eyes. And you can dig into it and get some of that out too if you want to. There, you're, now you've got a nice pineapple that sits nice, easy, and flat. And you just kind of cut around the sides. I know, I know the theory behind cutting it, and I don't necessarily have the motor skills. <laughs> down. And once you've got this fruit right here, 
This is the next important step that not everybody does. You want to rinse it off in water. The reason being, pineapples are very acidic. If you don't rinse it, you're going to eat it, and some people are very sensitive to it, and their mouth's going to feel it. In fact, I bet some people don't eat pineapples just because their mouth can't handle it. But if you do this rinse, you might have a better chance. And I've rinsed it in the sink, and I just found that a bowl with some filtered water gives you the best rinse. So just kind of dunk it in there, give it a little good rinse. Don't splash yourself too much. And cut from the top down into little like pizza type cuts. Cut it like a pizza pie. Come on now. And you've got these little spears all over the place. And you just cut out the little piece of core. Because that's a pretty tough part of the pineapple. You can eat this and it's actually very good for you. This is where most of the vitamins are in the pineapple actually. It's just a little fibrous sometimes. This is actually really good pineapple. So that core was pretty sweet. I think I might eat that core just because it's so good for you. And then you're done. You can just you can leave it like these spears right here in a full spear and just serve them up like that. Or you can continue and cut a little more and get chunks out of it instead of spears. I know that seems like ridiculous common sense stuff, but hey. It's how to cut a pineapple. If I left stuff out, this would be a horrible video. You gotta be thorough on these videos, don't you? Well, I hope that was helpful. I hope those of you that didn't request how to cut a pineapple don't think it was too ridiculous. But this is where I'm gonna leave you guys today. I'm going to work and it's really not gonna be an exciting day or anything, so I'm not gonna film anything there. Ha ha ha, just kidding, we're not done yet. So I got done with work a little bit early and I was meeting the family up at a place called Centrally Grown. It's an awesome restaurant that has a great view and really good food. But since we got time before dinner, I thought I'd take you guys a few miles north there on the coast. And I heard that there's some elephant seals hanging out on the beach right now. So I thought that might be something you guys want to check out. It's definitely something that I'm going to check out. So I figured I'd bring you along to check it out. <laughs> Get out, go for snake. Well, thank you again for joining me today and you guys take care of yourself take care of each other and you know what I don't just say that I'm not just talking out of my ass there I'm serious take care of yourself okay and take care of each other in that order all right <laughs> thanks guys take care